Well, up first on the show today, UK's recovery trials. Now, these are randomized controlled trials of drugs against COVID based at Oxford University, and they're being conducted along with UK's health service, the NHS. Almost all acute hospitals across the whole of the UK, that's 176 in all, have enrolled six patients, and there are more than 11,500 patients taking part so far and have been testing six different treatments against the normal standard of care. Now, a data safety monitoring committee has also access to all the outcomes outcomes of the data and regularly looks to see how things are going. One of the big breakthroughs of, the, of these trials has been the use of steroid dexamethasone that was found to be very, very helpful in critical patients. So to talk more about these recovery trials, we're now joined by Dr. Avir Pushpa Gupta. He's a member of the NHS and, uh, and he's been following these trials very, very closely. Thank you so much for speaking to us. First, tell us how vast are these recovery trials? So first of all, thank you for having me on NDTV once again, uh, Anjali. I um, am part of the recovery trial. I'm one of the uh, physicians that are um, doing some research in regards, regards to the recovery trial. A recovery trial is a pan-UK-based trial. Just may, <clears throat> excuse me, just me sorry, jo uh, UK ki population hai, unki upar, uh, they, they are the ones who are being tested. Um, and the, 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 the testing that we're doing is based on the drugs uh, that can reduce hospital admission, reduce hospital stay, and also improve the patient's symptoms as we go along. So uh, dexamethasone had shown a lot of improvement in, in patients that were in hospital. It reduced inflammation in the lungs. It reduced um, uh, the immune response, and it helped patients to get out of the hospital faster, and it decreased the amount of ICU admissions needed. So uh, dexamethasone was one of the most um, uh, successful stories of the recovery trial, which it is in part right now. We are still continuing this trial. We have to go through different phases. Um, every trial has four phases of clinical um, testing. So phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four. And as we go from one phase to another, we increase the number of patients that we try uh, the medication on. So how important have the different arms of the study been for doctors across the globe in guiding them towards uh, viable treatment methods? So a lot of the trials that are being done are being done as a public-based uh, trial in the UK. So, for example, the Oxford University trial that has just come out with the vaccine um, that showed some positive results yesterday is a uh, is a, a private public partnership between Oxford University um, and a company called AstraZeneca. So they are trying to make the vaccine uh, which can prevent uh, coronavirus uh, from spreading and we get an antibody response from this vaccine. Uh, so they, they had very positive results. They tested 1,700 patients and they saw 100% um, antibody response in all of them. This is a very, very positive response. So they saw T cell response in 14 days and antibody response in 28 days. Um, that's a very positive trial uh, for the prevention of coronavirus spread. Uh, the other trials are obviously going on in terms of remdesivir, in terms of dexamethasone and also a new company, uh, Synergene, which is a Southampton-based company that came out with their trial findings yesterday in which they're using interferon beta, a vaccine trial, which is a totally different mechanism of trying to get uh, an immune response. And then there are trials going on in China, India, Russia as well. So um, the WHO has their own trial going on. So there are many trials at the moment, but I think uh, the important thing is that we find the right medication with the least amount of side effects for the population. All right, Dr. Now, just explain to us how is it that the recovery trial in the UK has been more success successful uh, where, uh, you know, big trials in the United States and even the one by the WHO have not been uh, seen to be as useful? Well, the United Kingdom has a public-based uh, research uh, setup. So we have university-based research where universities partner with private companies to try and uh, get the scientists from those universities and the NHS doctors like myself who are seeing patients on a daily basis to do a collaborative trial. So what the, uh, what the research shows uh, in the university is then practiced uh, in the hospital setting by doctors like myself and uh, by other colleagues of mine. So that it's, it's a public part partnership with the universities and the university-based hospitals. I think that's a very good system because it allows you to get uh, a proper research-based uh, findings 
uh, before we set it out to the public. In the United States, they have a similar system, they have a similar setup, uh, but it is more private based and more private company based. So. If you look at the results that are coming out from Moderna and from Novavax, these are all private companies. Uh, they have been researching on their own. They've been getting government grants and uh, uh, you know investors to invest in them. Um, but it is not a private setup. Eventually, however, they will have to get FDA approval before any of these medications and vaccines get sent out to the market. So the UK, I feel, is 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 a little bit ahead of the game in terms of getting the vaccine out and getting the medications and research done um, uh, because of the setup that we have with the NHS and the and the universities together. And uh, do you think now there needs to be more coordination uh, between uh, countries across borders uh, on all this research that's taking place? Absolutely. You know, the, the, this uh, this um, virus does not see any borders. It does not see any uh, color of the skin, any religion. It, it, it has spread and affected everybody equally. Uh, if not, uh, some populations have been affected worse, but everybody has been affected. No country has been spared. Um, so the research that we're doing should be um, also done in collaboration with each other for the betterment of mankind, rather than one country hoarding all the vaccines and the medications. Um, you know, it's very similar to space research. When we want to go to new frontiers, we, we collaborate with other nations. And I think nations like the UK, the US, uh, China, India, Russia all have to step up and uh, be world leaders in trying to find a cure for this and trying to help everybody, really. Uh, and I, I really have big hopes from, from the Indian vaccine program because they have known in the past to be very effective and they have you know we eradicated polio from india which is one of the biggest diseases uh, that the world had ever seen and uh, india did a very very good vaccine program to eradicate polio it, which was also appreciated by the who uh, so i think that uh, india's vaccine will be a, a game changer because it will be at a lower cost it will be available to a lot more people so we're waiting for india to also come out with something uh, pretty soon See, so, yeah, I'm not really sure uh, in terms of the data of the other two. I know I think solidarity is the uh, WHO trial that is going on, if I'm if I'm not wrong. Um, the WHO trial obviously encompasses a lot of different countries, a lot of different scientists coming together and coordination happening between uh, borders. Um, I think that's always harder to do in any sort of trial. Uh, when you have people from different countries, different ideas, different uh, methods and, and, and cultures, um, coming together, it's always takes a takes a little bit of time. But in terms of numbers, I would not be able to give you accurate numbers uh, as to which trial is ahead. But the recovery trial is a UK based trial. It's a primarily being done in UK hospitals. Uh, the data is being sent to um, uh, from different hospitals to the to the primary center where they're collecting it and then seeing the responses. So every doctor that is in the NHS uh, can take part of this tri in this trial and send uh, data into, into um, the recovery trial to see what we're coming up with. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a little less complicated to coordinate the recovery trial uh, because it's, it's based in the UK. All right, well, thank you so much, Dr. Gupta, for speaking to us and hopefully, hopefully we'll have more uh, you know, breakthrough findings from the recovery trial.